Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode four of Knowing Service Now. My name is Neil Laufenberg. This evening, I would like to cover templates for you. Uh, templates are a very useful thing that administrators can create to assist end users in working tickets. So, in a slight deviation from previous videos, I'm going to show you a little bit of the administrative side of the tool so you can understand how templates are created in case you need to request one from one of your administrators. And then I'll show you how templates are used. So, to start with, we'll focus back in on the incident table. So, I'm going to go to incident. And for an administrator, it's often easiest to start from an existing ticket. So if you have a ticket that you want an administrator to turn into a template, that's a, a great way to start this process off. So I'm going to look at this one. And as an administrator, I will go in and I'll right click the top bar and go to templates and I will save this as a template. Uh, the first thing the admin will do is they'll name it. Oops, still loading. They'll name it. Uh, let's say this is, uh, we want to do some pre-populated questions here. And we want to make this available for, oh, let's say everybody, so I'll make it global. And again, I'll call this questions for later use. Really bad short description there, but give it something. So then you can see it populated all of these values as a default from the ticket already. So um, for this instance, I don't want us to assign this uh, to David Liu. Um, the caller will be who the caller is. I don't want to overwrite that. Categorization will be what it is. Impact, I'll leave that alone. We're going to turn knowledge off. Leave location off. Open by, opened. Uh, we can put short description in. So let's say that this is like a case where somebody calls in uh, and we are creating a ticket from that call. So let's say this is user call in. And we'll leave the state alone. And we'll leave the urgency alone. Again, you can set all those if you like. And then I want to go into additional comments and do something like this. And again, really bad examples, but kind of give you the idea of what you can do. All right, and I'm going to save that. Now that I've created that template, we have one called pre-populated questions. So once you have a template created that you have the rights to, you can come into an existing ticket or a new ticket, for example. So let's go to a new ticket, go create new, and you'll note it, free, it fills in the pre-populated information per the system configuration. But if you want to apply the template to add additional information right at this point, you can right-click the top bar, go to templates, go apply templates, and I'll pick the one called pre-populated questions. And you can see it populated those questions in there for us. So then you can type in the answers to those questions. And hit submit. And that incident is now submitted. We'll go to it here. And you can see it logged the short description with user called in question. In the additional comment section, it wrote down to the activity, the questions that had been filled in. So this is a really useful way for filling out incidents or changes or any kind of a repetitive task in the system more efficiently. And it's important to remember, you do need an administrator to assist you with this setup, but a very, very useful way for doing repeatable tasks going forward. And again, to get at it, if you go into templates, apply template and you select it. Now you do have edit templates here as well. It's important to understand that you will have limited rights to edit this based on your current setup. I'm an administrator right now, I can edit this. Um, you will have limited rights here. So it's important to remember you do need an administrator for this activity. I appreciate your time this evening. If you have any follow-up questions, comments, or further ideas for later webisodes, please let me know. Uh, leave your comments below. Uh, subscribe if you feel this uh, channel is useful, and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks.